Hello everyone, welcome back to another Jurassic World Dominion video, where today we are discussing a brand new photograph released by Entertainment Weekly, and also Colin Trevorrow explains what we can expect for Jurassic World Dominion as well. But before we get into the video, do consider pressing that subscribe button for more exclusive content regarding Jurassic World, as we get so much closer to the release date in June. I've also just come back from watching Spider-Man No Way Home and boy was it fantastic. I really urge you guys to go and watch it and stay until after the credits because that Doctor Strange 2 trailer that you can only see after the credits of Spider-Man No Way Home is absolutely phenomenal. I cannot wait to see Doctor Strange 2 now. Anyways, back to Jurassic World. So today I'm going to be reading the article that was given by Entertainment Weekly. It'll be linked down in the description down below if you wish to check out yourself. But the article is as follows. Jurassic World Dominion, the sixth entry in the Jurassic Park franchise, takes place four years after 2018's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Enough time for dinosaurs to find their way across the globe. Colin Trevorrow says, They have been multiplying and living amongst us and clashing with us. The other Jurassic Park movies pretty much have the same story, but Jurassic World Dominion is set all over the world, through many different environments, the wilderness, urban, desert and snow. It's exciting to see these creatures navigate environments that they weren't built to survive in. They grew up in a theme park and now they're here in our world. Now I'm sure you guys are extremely excited to see this image so we'll discuss this little bit and then pop it up on screen because it gives a kind of backstory to this image. At the start of the film, Bryce Dallas Howard's Claire Deering and Chris Pratt's Owen Grady are still attempting to save the big beasts, with the latter rounding up Parasaurs in the Sierra Nevadas. And as you guys can see here, we have a gorgeous looking shot of what seems to be the Parasaurolophus and Chris Pratt. And Chris Pratt seems to be taking the Parasaurolophus away somewhere. And because we have a snow background, to me this has a Christmas vibe about it. Replace the Parasaurs with Rudolph. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> However, judging by the model of the Parasaurolophus, this could actually be what we thought was the Sharonosaurus. Looking at the head crest from the Parasaurolophus, it doesn't just come straight out. It seems like there's some skin connecting from the bone of the crest and the back of the head, which many people did suspect when it was first officially revealed that it might be the Sharonosaurus, but instead it seems like Parasaurolophus is confirmed to have two different models, the model we saw at the end of Battle at Big Rock and now this new model that seems to depict it with some sort of skin flap. Trevorrow had this to say about the image, Chris Pratt is not too far from where the dinosaurs got out from the last film. The Parasaurs are in danger of being poached. There's a lot of shady type of people out there who want to get their hands on a dinosaur, so he's working to protect them. However, Trevro is cagey about where we find Claire Deering. I don't want to say just yet, but she's at a point where she's questioning her methods and whether she can stay safe and fulfill the responsibility that she has to other people in her life that care about her. Arguably, even bigger news than widespread dinosaur decimation, the return of Sam Neill, Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum who reunite on the big screen together for the first time since 1993's Jurassic Park. And these guys won't be cameo appearances like the one that Jeff Goldblum had in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Colin Trevorrow said, and I quote, They have equal screen time to Chris and Bryce. They're major characters from start to finish, which is fantastic. I know some people are going to be like, Oh no, they're only going to be cameos, they'll pop up in every single little small scene so people can have some nostalgia feeling. But no, they will be playing a major role in Jurassic World Dominion and will be prominent characters. However, that's not the only character returning from the original movie. A long time ago, it was confirmed that Campbell Scott will be playing Lewis Dodson because the previous actor got into very bad business that we will not discuss on the channel. But yes, Campbell Scott's Lewis Dodson will be showing up in Jurassic World Dominion. And the director describes Dominion as more of a science thriller rather than a horror flavoured J.A. Bayona directed styled Fallen Kingdom and strongly hints that the movie's big bad guy will be Lewis Dodson. Trevorrow had this to say, He is the main villain throughout both of Crichton's novels and I think what Campbell Scott has done with this character is just simply amazing. I can't wait for people to see it. And there you go, that was the whole article by Entertainment Weekly. Now if we were to break this down ever so slightly, it seems like we start where we left off from Fallen Kingdom, where Claire and Owen are trying their absolute hardest to try and save these dinosaurs, but they're not trying to save them from a volcano anymore. 
they are starting to save them from everyday threats that might happen amongst humans. Some humans are known for poaching animals in today's world, so why wouldn't they do that with dinosaurs? And it is confirmed they are in fact doing that. Owen's character seems like he is pulling away this Parasaurolophus to take this Parasaurolophus to safety, but surely you have to house this Parasaurolophus in some way. And whether or not he was able to build his barn from Fallen Kingdom is another question, but it seems like they must have built some sort of ranch to be able to look after these dinosaurs that they do end up finding and saving from the poachers. So this movie seems to have some sort of conflict between it. It will have moments where they want to save the dinosaurs, but from what we know about Claire in this article, it seems like Claire is double guessing herself. She doesn't know if what she's doing is right anymore. She might be putting herself in constant danger where her loved ones, aka family and friends, will not be too chuffed about her choices to do such things. And obviously, bringing back Ian Malcolm will throw something into the hat. He is someone who wanted these dinosaurs to die off, from the start, he suggested that we should never have these dinosaurs anyways, not even on an island in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Costa Rica. So why on earth would he want them in today's world? He will probably start to conflict with Owen and say that we must let these dinosaurs die off somehow. But as Eli Mills did say in Fallen Kingdom, you can't put it back in the box. These dinosaurs are here to stay and it's just a matter of fact of seeing how these characters start to progress with these dinosaurs in their everyday world. As we know, there is more story to tell after Jurassic World Dominion. There will be live action shows, animated shows and another movie. So Jurassic World Dominion won't be the end of the whole storyline. So they will probably have to learn to coexist with each other rather than the humans dying out or the dinosaurs dying out. Either way, throwing in Lewis Dodson is quite important. He is a villain that has been big in the novels but nowhere to be seen in the movies. Obviously, we know he did have his appearance in Jurassic Park but let's say it was more of a cameo appearance since he didn't really do all that much. But now he seems to be the big bad guy according to Colin Trevorrow and someone I assume will have to stop him before he starts creating all of these mad monsters. And that's where I assume the Giganotosaurus came from. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's Jurassic World Dominion video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you want to stay up to date on Jurassic World Dominion, Jurassic World Evolution 2 and Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous as well as numerous amounts of shows and movies that will be releasing for the Jurassic franchise after Jurassic World Dominion, do consider pressing that red subscribe button and the bell notification so you do not miss an upload. That also remains the same if you wish to stay up to date on all of the new images that will be posted hopefully monthly until we get a trailer which we suspect will be in early February time, or even during the Super Bowl. But all I ask for you guys today is to let me know in the comment section how excited you are for Jurassic World Dominion, what you think about this new information, and to leave a like on the video. But most importantly, make sure you're staying safe out there, and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.